Hey everyone, in this video we'll be solving this problem from rotational mechanics and this came in a, an AITS and this question is uh, very interesting as in most people will make an extremely common mistake while doing this problem. So I'd like you to take five, four to five minutes to solve this problem on your own, then come back because there is an extremely common mistake that you might commit while solving this problem. So let's begin with the solution. So it's given that, uh, so basically we have been given a uniform rod whose mass is M and the length is L uh, and it is held horizontally by two vertical strings A and B. The string B is now cut so, and then we need to find the tension in the string A. Now the mistake that most people actually make in this problem is that they assume the contact between this mass M and this rod is uh, still existing. Is that they assume that the mass M will still be in contact with the rod after the cutting of string P. And that's the mistake that most people make. So how do we, so, so we need to check uh, if the acceleration of this point on the rod is greater or greater or lesser than G. So let's say if this point moved with an acceleration that is greater than G then what will happen is there won't be any contact between the mass M and the rod. So the center of mass uh, is at a distance of L by 4. So initially let's assume there was no contact. Okay, there was no contact between them. So if I write the torque equation about this point O, then we can say mg multiplied by L by 4 equals the I about O times alpha. Now what is I about O? It is actually I about the center of mass plus M times L by 4 squared, right? And I about center of mass is ml square by 12. On solving, you'll get the moment of inertia as 7 ml square by 48. So on solving, you'll get the, so the alpha will come out to be 12g by 7l. So if we want to find the acceleration of this point, it is at a distance of 3l by 4 from the rotation axis. And so the acceleration of that point is going to be alpha multiplied by 3l by 4 which comes out to be 9g by 7 and as you can see this value is greater than g which means this point will accelerate faster and this block m will undergo free fall and hence there won't be any contact so now moving on to the options the first option was to find the tension and for that we can just use f equals to ma so we can just do sigma fy uh, equal to m times acceleration of the center of mass in the y direction so we can write mg minus tension ta equals m times acceleration of center of mass and acceleration of center of mass is going to be alpha times l by 4 right so alpha so that will come out to be 3g by 7 so from here tension ta will come out to be 4mg by 7 and uh, in option in the third option we had to determine the axer of acceleration of center of mass which we already determined and in the fourth option they are asking the acceleration of center of mass of the rod and the block which means of the combined system immediately after the string is cut okay so the center of mass of the rod is moving down with an acceleration of 3g by 7 and the mass m is moving downward with an acceleration of g so the acceleration of the center of mass of the system will be will be m1 a1 plus m2 a2 upon m1 plus m2 and on solving you'll get the answer as 5g by 7 which is correct. So the answer to this problem is option A, C, D. So that was it for this problem guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment down your doubts below. Thanks for watching.